example here, and that was about uh, the model compiler API. So uh, let's create uh, the sample model compiler API sample demo. And this one is associated with the plugin perspective because it's an Eclipse plugin. And um, now, since I'm running in, in RCRT, I have this um, option to build automatically turned off, which is recommended. So this means that if you want to build this Java project here, you have to right click and do build project to make sure that you compile this Java into um, class files. And once we have done that, we can uh, launch a new executable to a new Eclipse to debug this as an Eclipse application. So what this um, plugin does is basically just to add a UI with two uh, new commands, one command for uh, generating code for a TC and another command for um, building the TC, so also running make once um, code has been generated. And here we have uh, the, that other Eclipse version. And here is the UI I talked about. So we have generate and build, select the TCJS. I have here the hello world sample um, that I will use for this demo. So I, I, both these commands assume I have a selected TC, TCJS. So I will select here and then I will first run the generate command. And you can see it starts to uh, generate code for this selected TC. And also, there is a possibility to be notified uh, when the build is connected. And in this case, the plugin just opens a dialog saying that the command was successful. And in the same way, we can build the TC, and then it will do the same, but afterwards also invoke make to build the code. And once again, uh, the command pop up uh, as before. So if we we'll just look a bit on how this is implemented, uh, we can see that most work is done in this sample build action. And there are several um, functions or methods called here that are new API. Uh, there is Javadoc generated for it, so you can hover the mouse over here to read more about them. Uh, the entry point is this um, model compiler facade, which, which contains lots of methods for, for example, getting where the model compiler is installed to extract all the different um, preferences from the UI that is relevant to it and also then uh, when, it, when you come down to actually doing the launching here there is something called an iBuilder interface that uh, describes an asynchronous builder which you can use for launching the model compiler. Uh, you then use this build task uh, which you then can schedule and add a listener for with, with this iBuild task listener. And then you will be notified of various properties during the build. And the most important property is the result property, which will be set when the build is completed. And then you can extract some information. And in, in this case, I'm using this get messages here to get a, a list of um, messages, build messages produced during the build. And in this case, we just pop, pop up a dialog saying that the command was either successful or if the exit code is different from zero, then it's failed and the number of messages that we got. Uh, and in the UI, you know, I can also take a look and see where this, um, where you can find information in the UI. So here we have this new uh, Java API top level chapter. This is actually groups uh, the previous um, uh, four chapters that we have modeling platform developer guide, transformation, plaglet, and compare merge developer guide. And there is an, uh, now a new chapter called Artist Tool API. And uh, while all the others more like focus on how we can extend our CRT, uh, this API uh, is more like how you can invoke functionality programmatically, such as the model compiler. And, and already before we had support for invoking compare and merge and eGit from, from uh, an API. So we have just extended that API to now also include the model compiler, and also a few other things here, like uh, functionality for working with TCs programmatically, and this async build that I talked about previously. So I hope this will be useful for anyone who needs to automate uh, usage of the model compiler from the UI.